Okay, so this is a new project, a website that needs to be uh, WordPress and uh, responsive. I will send you the file. Uh, in this file, uh, it contains uh, the PSD and the images to see how, uh, uh, how it looks like. So let's start with the home page. This is the home page. Okay, we click on it. And this is the menu. This is the logo. Okay. And starting from here, it's the menu. All right. And this is uh, the footer, uh, footer menu. Uh, basically, it's the same. Uh, it's the same pages like this in the menu in the right side. Okay. In the left side, there is an image. Okay. This is a Facebook link. And uh, that is basically uh, for the home page. Now the home page, if you can see, uh, on uh, it needs to be responsive. So in a kind of a, a lower resolutions, it needs to be like that. If it's a, a if it's a wide wide, uh, then it look, look need to look like this. If the screen is wide, okay. Now I don't know on iPhone how it look like like this. Maybe it will be not be readable because it will be uh, small. But uh, basically, try to to have it look to to have it the same uh, resolution in uh, in mobile. Uh, Nothing will be need to be squashed or the image or something like that. And uh, what what I recommend in the mobile version in the mobile version is uh, to put the menu here first and then the image below. But because client didn't ask this, he he said that he want, he want like this in the mobile version to look like this uh, also just smaller then try to do it first and I will show it to the client if not then we'll do it like a uh, we do it like this that the menu will be first and the image will be under it and the footer under this so this is about the the home page yeah now this is the wide version as I, as I told you this is the about page. About page is the second one here. You see, it's marked. When someone uh, mouse over, it gives a different color. And also, if you click on it, it stays the color. Okay? It stays like this. Now, this is breadcrumbs. Okay? This is the title. Okay? And this is also subtitle. Now, uh, probably that it's better that you define uh, uh, this one H, as a H1 title and this one as an H2 title. And define the CSS that in the H2 title will be the background like it have now. Uh, this is the body text. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is a simple simple page. Okay. It's a simple page. It's not a post. It's a simple page. It's a page template. Okay. Now uh, pay attention that uh, for the font, you know, uh, this is a, a Aleph. It's called Aleph font. I will send you the font. So the bread, breadcrumbs is Aleph. Uh, the title is Aleph. The sub, everything is Aleph. Yeah, except the body text. Body text is Ariel. Okay. Uh, this one uh, H2 is also uh, it's also uh, Aleph. Aleph is a web font. It's a name of the web font. So I will send you the this this font. Now this is a picture. Another subtitle. Ta ta ta. Okay, so it's understood. Next, this is a simple page. Okay, let's go to the next one. This one is a simple page in a version for a wider screen. Let's say a person have a white screen. What will happen? That the, the text will be in the center. Okay? 
the bread comes in the right, the title in the right, but the the content will be in the center. All right? This is if the person have a wider screen. Next. Okay, this is a blog page, a, a blog, a, not blog page, a category play, page. This is category, okay, and this is posts, post one, post two, post three, post four, post five, and when further her more, if the client want to add more, it will be automatically added here. Now, uh, if someone click on it exactly the same the color will be different or mouse over the color will be like that and after that you will see the post page now how it look like the post page post page will look like that okay breadcrumbs uh, title subtitle everything is the same except Except that here on post page, uh, there is a button here, back to the list of uh, of me of of posts. Okay, back to the list of posts. Every post need to have this button. Back to the list of posts. This is what is written here in Hebrew. What is the list of posts? The list of posts is the same same list of post that I show you here okay so again this is a category and when someone click on category he can see the list of posts okay next uh, now this is a gallery page okay this is a gallery page there is a text here and images Okay, if someone click on one of the images, this is what happened. Let's go to the next page to see what this will happen. This is what happened. The image will be here. There will be a, here the, the text of the title, uh, H2, and Ariel font here, text body, body text here. And the rest of the images that we saw before in the last image will be here. So it's kind of if someone click he then on image, it's kind of he go up and you can see this. Now, if it's a problem to create it or complex to create this, or there is not such plugin or something like that, then the client agree that it's okay to have a pop-up instead of having this appear on the page okay so a pop-up very nice pop-up that will look the same like this that have uh, in the middle of the center of the screen you will see the image in the right the text the title and maybe also an arrows in the left and the right side to scroll to the next image <clears throat> but this is the first option that client want okay if it's possible, it's good. You click on the image, automatically it goes up and you can see uh, it click on the image and it trigger him to go up and then you can see the the image, the text and so for every for every image client want an option to add a special title and a special text, okay? For every image, this is a demo. You see, everything is the same, yeah. But this is a demo. The client will change it later on. Next. That's all. Basically, that's all the there is to it. Very important. Very important. Do a clean job. Don't leave any CSS or any div or any code inside the editor. Okay, everything needs to be clean. So think about the user. The user is going, is not, not knowing anything about code, anything. Okay, 
So if you go to the editor, okay, of the WordPress and you want, and you want to edit the content, and he mistakenly uh, 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 delete some code and it will ruin his uh, website, it's a problem. Okay? So it needs to be clean, it needs to be uh, uh, controllable the, to the user that does not understand any code at all. Okay? So take it, uh, take it in mind. Thank you very much.